what's up guys welcome back uh, super quick one today uh, I just wanted to show off a shop card that I got in the mail yesterday a model kit that I picked up this morning and a little bit of progress on the pulled pork so um, to start with I got this really sweet shop card in the mail yesterday uh, from my buddy Gary over at hanging with mr. G seeds uh, that is a really cool card this is one of his builds and it's fantastic. I love this build with those bikes in the back. But then if you flip it over, it's kind of cool. He's got one of those little rat fink-ish looking um, cartoons on the back of it. So I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna hang this car card up because it's got that is really cool and that is really cool. So I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, but thank you, Gary. If you haven't checked out this channel, I will link it in the description of the video. Um, hanging with Mr. G Seeds. Super talented, super cool builds, and a really nice guy. So go check him out. Um, a, another subscriber slash friend of mine, Dave, he uh, gave me a heads up yesterday that my local Walmart had model kits for super cheap. And I don't normally buy model kits from Walmart. Um, I don't want to get into why. I just don't. Uh, but... My wife and I happened to be there doing our weekly shopping, um, and I walked by the display, and they had this one, so I grabbed it, uh, the Pontiac GTO Superstalker for 15 bucks. so, um, yeah, I figured why not, 15 bucks, and that's a pretty cool model, I've been wanting to pick this up for a little while, um, but... Uh, they haven't had it at the Hobby Lobby that's local to me for a while, and, uh, yeah, I figured, what the heck. So we're going to throw this into the pile, and uh, that's cool. Also, the pulled pork. So um, I got the chassis. It's pretty much, pretty much squared away. Chassis's in it. Motor's in it. I did some detailing uh, last night while I was on um, Gut Fuels Live. Uh, we got plug wires in it, um, alternator wired. Fuel lines run, uh, fuel lines run, throttle cable and linkage run. Looks pretty good from here. Um, this kit is pretty cool. It's got little decals that go on the shocks. <laughs> so I fought with those today. Uh, I don't like decals very much, but that's okay. We got her done. Uh, so that's the chassis as of right now. Um, in the decal placement, this is what I went with. I, I couldn't do the flames, um, so we didn't use those. I had some contingency decals um, in the extra decal bag from another kit, uh, so we put those on both sides. We did do the 383. Uh, stroker, the driver's name, which is Chopped Hog, is what it is, guys. Uh, the American flags, the hood pins on it, marker lights, um, and we, uh, this, this pulley truck has an ace up its sleeve. Its motor was built by a very famous race shop, and we got some uh, model company decals in the back so this is just gonna sit I'm gonna let this sit overnight or maybe a little bit longer than overnight we'll see how the week goes but it's gonna sit let the decals set up really nice and then we'll clear coat this one um, and it's uh, getting ready to go back together oh I, oh I also did the I also did the decals on the KC lights I get those put together so those those look pretty good actually I really like the way that looks so uh, that's it for now. Like I said, super short. Just a quick five-minute video. Um, thank you again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Go check out Market Hobby Nut Models. Go check out Gary at Hanging with Mr. G Seeds. Um, and as always, if you want to ask me a question or show me photos or whatever, whatever you, you might want to do, the email, uh, my email is in the description of the video too. All right, guys, that's all I got. Time to pack it up for the weekend. 
and get ready for the work week. So enjoy yourselves, and we'll talk again really soon.